what's going early on? How gratifying was it to get the power play clicking tonight? In that stage? Yeah, we needed it. Um, you know, lately, we haven't been the best, and you know we've been dangerous sometimes, but you know we haven't been you know, scoring. So tonight was good for us for sure. Were you surprised you had that much open ice on your goal? Yeah, I mean I got the puck and the seas kind of parted. You know, nobody came to me, so. I figured I'd walk in and shoot it. What happened on the bench when they made it 3-2 and then right away 4-2? Um, you know, not a lot. It was just kind of two plays that just kind of went in. You know, we were we were still, you know, working hard. We were still playing well, um, and they just got those two goals. And I don't think we were deflated, but you know, 4-2 with not much time left, it's hard to come back. I can't think this team's confidence is very high right now on a five-game losing skid, and you have what six goals in that span. Yeah, I mean, but, you know, we know we have the players and the skill in here to, you know, be able to bounce back. So um, we can't let our, you know, our mindset or confidence get down, and we just have to move on to the next game and keep going. Dennis, where do you think, you know, after Montreal, there, there was, you know, a sense of renewal here. Where, where do you think it's gone wrong for the Red Wings? Is it something that you fellows aren't doing, or is it the opposition is playing you a little differently? Um, it could be a bit of both, really. Um, one of the biggest things we got to score more goals. Um, you know, we had a couple tonight, but um, and, and you know, obviously keep the puck out of our net too. You know, we have to. I mean, you know, if we're going to be a good team, we have to keep it out of our net and then you know create those chances off of turnovers and, and counterattacks. Obviously, the third period. Uh, you know, I think uh, I think two cheap penalties where we weren't uh, just they didn't mean to make the the mistakes there, but. You know, one second left, and we get a tripping call, and then a errant stick, and we get a high sticking, and uh, their power play but it was the factor there. So, um, you know, I, I thought we had a couple good shifts after they tied it two-two, and um, but that uh, third and fourth goal was were, were tough. Then when you guys keep talking about when you play the right way, you're a good team, but it seems like more and more distance is growing between your last. 60-minute effort and yeah, it is. Um, I think we played the right way the first two periods, and then it was a uh, uh, you know it was a special teams match, and they were on top. And it's it's a game where there's a lot of penalties, a lot of penalty kill. Um, it, it's it's hard to, to fall asleep and get away from your game at at five on five. And uh, but those two uh, power play goals by Vancouver there killed us. What issues are you still seeing on the PK that need to be resolved? Here? I mean, I think we're taking too many penalties to, to begin with. So uh, we can kill off two or three, but when it gets up to, to five or six penalties, it's it's so hard. And those guys are playing big minutes. They're sacrificing their bodies. And when you give good players the puck that much for, I don't know how many penalties we took, but it, I looked up and it was 14 or 16 minutes. We, we give their, their best players the puck that long. It's... You know they're going to make something happen, so we got to stay out of the box and stay way more disciplined. Is the biggest test right now mental toughness to not let this fester? You know we got we have a game tomorrow. Uh, you know we're playing a team in, in Ottawa. It's a, a building we've had success in the past couple of years. So uh, right now we need two points in the in the worst way, and and uh, you know that's our focus right now. Is is we're going to battle hard tomorrow and. Uh, we need those two two points. We've got to be desperate from the start. Yeah, and just uh, along those lines, how much are you paying attention to the standing? I know it's early, but just not letting too much separation take place right there at this point in the schedule. It's early, but uh, we're going on on the road tomorrow night, and then we're home for a little bit, and we got to we got to fix our game at home. And um, you know what I think you saw our home opener. We were really good, and uh, since then we haven't been good enough at home. So we need to to get a big two points, get our confidence back tomorrow night in Ottawa, come back home for for a week, and and make something happen, and, and play our game, and, and stay disciplined. And we've been getting good goaltending, so we need to. We need to score, and we need to like, stay disciplined and play our game. Is yeah. it a matter of just getting more speed into your game, too? Because you guys are a very, can be a very fast team. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. We, when we play fast, we're a good team. Tonight, it's tough. It, so much power play, so much penalty kill. Uh, it was a slow game. Uh, it was a boring game at times. But when we need to score, we need to score on the power play. And uh, tomorrow night, we need to have a fast start and, and play a fast game. You know, I know you're disappointed right now, but... Are you at least encouraged that you know you were able to get a couple of power play goals tonight? Uh, we need more. I think when that that uh, power play we had late in the third, that was our chance. That's when um, 
you know, a big power play comes out and, and comes over the boards and scores, and um, we didn't have that. We did get a, a couple uh, five on three, but uh, we still need to be better five and five or five and four and getting into the zone easier. You said after the Montreal game, you know, your identity is never going away. Is, is that what you kind of need to recapture? Yeah, we do. Absolutely, we need we need to to do that, and uh, we'll see it tomorrow night. Uh, we need to come out and, and play that relentless uh, game tonight. We played it for 40 minutes, but we need to put together an effort for 60 minutes, and that's what it comes down to in this league. Well, we have a 2 nothing lead. I thought we were doing you know, a lot of good things going into the third period. Um, you know, we give them two power play goals, which uh, you know we can't allow. It's uh, as a penalty killer, take responsibility. We gotta you know make sure that uh, we're all sacrificing blocking shots. Um, you know, and that that gave them the momentum. And um, but you know it's. We know in here when we play the right way, we can be a good team, and um, you know we we can't uh, you know let it unravel like that in the third period for us. Um, you know we've, we we had chances, we have a lead, we gotta we gotta make sure that uh, you know I, th I thought our power play did a great job tonight, got us you know some goals, and um, we gotta make sure uh, you know penalty kill, we hold up our end, we make sure that uh, you know as a unit of four out there, we're all. all uh, Doing a great job. It just seems like there's more and more distance between the last time you guys played well as a team. For yeah, for for 60 minutes, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I know we talk about that Montreal game, but uh, you know we played fast. Uh, we were above guys. Uh, we created a lot of opportunities and chances. And uh, you know, right right now it's uh, we we got to make sure that uh, you know it's it's a next shift mentality. I know we've we've talked about that a bit too, but. Um, you know, we got to go out. If we get scored on, we got to go out and, and make sure that uh, we're even better in the next shift. Uh, no excuses. We're at home. We got to, you know, be able to uh, handle handle stuff like that and, and momentum swings. Jimmy really played well, especially the first couple of periods. And then a couple of bad bounces went against you. The one off of Ronick skate comes to mind. How much did those kill momentum? As far as that goes, Justin. Yeah, it's just. Uh, we, we talk about that a lot, you know, for ourselves offensively. Is just getting pucks uh, towards the net and, and getting those breaks. So you can't ever control breaks in hockey, but uh, you just gotta, uh, you know, make sure you go out and do it right and, and put yourself in uh, good positions. And uh, you know, hey, listen, we can, I think we can continue to uh, do more of that ourselves. Get pucks around the net and uh, get some breaks and bounces. But uh, we gotta continue to work on, uh, you know, playing for 60 minutes. Um, you know, staying w within our game, uh, doing it as, uh, doing it together out there. Um, you know, and if, if we uh, things go wrong for a shift, we got to make sure that next shift's uh, you know a great shift for us. And um, you know, we got to make sure, like I said, that next shift mentality is is, is huge. And uh, w when we do it right, uh, you know, feel really good about this team and, and how we can play. Uh, we're still early in the season, so uh, we got to we got to learn from these. Uh, uh, these last uh, number of games and uh, you know, be a better team because of that. Justin, how disappointing is it? You know, you finally exercise that demon of the Bell Center. You think that you're, you know, you guys are maybe hitting a bit of a stride, and then to go on a five-game slide. Yeah, it's uh, like, like I said. I, you know, when we when we play the way we're capable of playing, um, you know, I think we can be a really good team. We're fast. Uh, you know, we uh, I think we we get in the ozone. We can do a lot of uh, great things. We can hang on the pucks, um, you know, and uh, make it hard on teams. But uh, we got to continue to focus on making sure we're we're a clean hockey team. Um, you know, limit our turnovers, you know, everywhere on, on, at the rink, on, around the rink, and uh, and play to our strength. And uh, you know, I think most importantly, like I said, just make sure we're going out and uh, you know doing it each and every shift and. Um, you know, playing within uh, within our structure, within our game. I mean, you saw it. Like uh, we we had uh, the, we carried the play for two periods. We're the better team. Certainly had more chances. Uh, we're on the power play of chance to score. We take a penalty with a second left. You know what I mean? Like so now you come in and you're shorthanded and do a pretty good job on the kill. And then they score at the end. They score again on the next penalty kill. So all of a sudden the game started to turn. Now it's an even game. I thought Lark's line had a couple of good shifts in there, but then they score again. And the more you start getting scored on, you don't score, the more the momentum goes away from you. And that's what happened. Larkin also made the point of taking too many penalties and giving too many good power plays opportunities to beat your team. How can you clean that up for your guys? 
Um, we'll work on it. I mean, yeah, you can't you can't give up uh, that many power play opportunities, you know. So, uh, you know, some of them are, you know, the high stick. I, I, I got to watch it again. Is it careless? I got to see, you know. Um, certainly the mentality. I know what Bert's doing. He's trying to win the puck battle, but you got to know the clock a little bit. You can't you can't want to try so hard that you take a penalty on the power play. You just can't do it. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, they certainly had momentum for a little bit, uh, no doubt about it. Um, you know, a few shifts in a row, and I thought Larks line went out and, and did a good job and, and, and had a chance to gather some momentum back, and then you get scored on. So uh, how do we respond? You know, if we score, I think we grab the momentum back, we got scored on, and the momentum continued to go the wrong way. Well, again, we gotta, we gotta. It, to me, it, it so much comes down to, uh, you know, when you give up as many goals as we've given up, and, and enough of it's been on the penalty kill, uh, it crushes you. So, like in Montreal, they score, we come back and score. The momentum in games is is such a huge deal when teams are as close as all these teams are. So when 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 you're getting scored on as many times you're getting scored on, it's hard to keep digging back out. It just is, and and we don't score easy. So we got to find a way to either get more scoring. Uh, you know, I think Lark's line has is, is, uh, done a really good job, but we need more scoring throughout the lineup. Uh, or two, we've got to do a better job of giving up less goals. Now, a majority of that and a number of the games, certainly if you look at the two Vancouver games, uh, that comes down to penalty kill. You know, like that comes down to three goals on one game and two on another that are critical moments in the game. So we've got to do a way better job of that. Yeah, you know, Svech, I thought, played good early. It's, it's hard to... Uh, he didn't play much after that. Just the way the specialty teams went, it's hard. It's uh, if you're not on either unit, it gets really hard. You know, I thought Helmer was playing real good, but if you're not in, on either unit, which he's not right now, um, it gets real hard. So, um, you know, I think we got to look at our personnel and our kill. That doesn't necessarily affect Svetch, but it certainly affects Helmer. You know, does Helmer uh, get back on the penalty kill and get more opportunities? Um, overall, from Svetch, uh, from Svetch's standpoint, I thought he did a pretty good job. Yeah, I think he just he just took a stinger as my gut. Yeah, I don't have any report further than that. Um, right now, uh, you know, he, he obviously didn't finish the game, so uh, I should know more tomorrow where where he stands. Uh, I talked to John after Steve talked to John. Uh, my message to John was. Uh, uh, you know, depending on what happens with waivers, which is something you never know, uh, go down and play great hockey. And he told me that's his plan. And, you know, he just hasn't played in a long time. And uh, uh, right now I didn't have him in the lineup. So if you, if, you know, if you, don't ha if you don't have him in the lineup, he's got to play in order to get himself his game back when he's got to play. He hasn't played since March. So uh, now he gets to go down and, and, and play hockey and hopefully play great hockey. Uh, uh, he'd be super happy and we'd be super happy if he went down there and played great. And uh, uh, then, you know, then he's able to get back in the lineup at some point. But right now it's go down and play great hockey. The only thing is that doesn't give credit to Ottawa. They, they're going to work their, their 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 asses off, and they're going to play hard. And they're they're uh, they're they're a, a young team that that has a lot that's not totally dissimilar to us in terms of the arc. We're probably further ahead of that, uh, but but they've got some real young, talented players. So I want to make sure, like, if we think we can go out and just dictate the game, and and and, and it's going to be easy, we're crazy. We got to go out and and from the start of the puck or to to the end of the game, play great hockey to give ourselves the best chance to win. It's going to be a, a battle tomorrow night, and we got to be ready for that. I know it's early, but how much are you paying attention to the need for two points right now and uh, minimize the separation that takes place in the standings? For sure. This is, what, this is what we're trying to pay attention to is the game that's ahead of us. And so we got to find a way. You know, this one this one sucks. Like, that's a hard game to lose. Uh, there isn't anybody in that room that did. Like, that sucks. There's no doubt about it. So, But it's going to be over tomorrow. Like, we're going to review it. We're going to uh, look at ways we can get better. Well, one, staying out of the box. We're going to do all those things. Then we got to find a way to win a game in Ottawa. we got to focus on winning that game, period.